welcome okay. to Marvel TSR by the Geek Outings. We are going to continue with issue number two of Aloha Flight, our role-playing game featuring Alpha Flight taking a trip to Hawaii. We have our heroes who would like to start introducing themselves. Indicator, aka Validator, leader of Alpha Flight. Aurora, the bitch of this group. Faster than the speed of light, North Star. Box. <laughs> Very straightforward, Box. I like it. Fox is one of my favorite characters from Alpha Flight. He probably is my favorite character. An amazing design. Really shows John Byrne's particular style of uh, artwork, especially working metallics. Yeah. All right, so now we're on gallery, so. Last we saw our heroes, they had been put on a government mission to open up a new exotic <laughs> embassy in Hawaii, Oahu. They were sent there on a diplomatic publicity stunt for a lack of better aim. After arriving at the airport, after quite a bit of discussion, they decided to all arrive eventually at the embassy where they were told their schedule of tomorrow there would be a rehearsal for the embassy opening. The actual opening would be the following day. They were free to fill their time as they wished until then. After checking into their hotel, they decided to head down to the beach. At the beach, they were chilling, relaxing, maxing, box. Ever the Curious sent out a radio signal to, uh, sent out a radio signal to determine what was a miss, if anything, and he found a giant cargo ship large enough to carry what seems to be an experimental laser drill oil rig type contraption. The group confers and makes their way to the ship at sea. They all have the ability to fly in their own, uh, by their own means. After Box and Validator go to the bridge to coerce the captain into stopping and Northstar and Aurora, the twins, do a quick speedy sonic investigation of the platform itself. They find that there are large energy cells possibly for that laser drill and that Box taps into their system finding out the security details and information. Information, something seems amiss. Seems as if Roxxon Oil has sponsored this oil rig and they're using the system, they're using the law to their own devious means. They called me into work today. I was in there for about three hours. Oh, oh shit, congratulations. <laughs> nice way no, to break I don't mean that. I don't mean that in a, in a, in a fucking weird way. <laughs> it's like, hey. Come help us out with some of your stuff. I'm like, all right, I'm there. Let's go. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just have to work a full eight. That was fucked up. Oof. Oh, you did? Yeah, us getting shit in order. Like, you have to, like, make up dummy count sheets for every day that we haven't been there. Catching up, shit like that. Oh, okay. So just people, like a one-day thing? People who owe the casino computers? money. You know what I mean? Like, we're keeping the books up, stuff like that. Uh, well, like, what, collections what, department. Well, like, what's a strip looking like right now? Oh, fucking dead. Dead, is, yeah. Now, are the lights on at night or no? No. Damn, imagine that. That's fucking weird. They have boards up. Like, you know that door you take to, like, go across the bridge to, like, Bellagio and stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 100%. Like, it's all, those are all boarded up. Wow. Like, most casinos, the, the front doors are boarded up. Because we never, they weren't built with locks on them because they were never intended to be closed. Are you ready for a movie called Ty is Legend? <laughs> you, oh. walk into, you walk into the city with the lights <laughs> off, like looking for wolves and shit. <laughs> that is a functional piece of insight right there about their doors not having locks on. That totally makes sense. But yeah, that's crazy. But I smell a, 
It takes three of us. I to smell get a plan of brewing here. Uh oh. You shouldn't be saying that on camera. This is recording. <laughs> if you're trying to if you're trying to set it off, this is not the way it starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it it right I'll be like that fat guy on Tiger King, bro. I'll rat everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna just be afterwards. <laughs> Dry snitch. <laughs> mm. The ship is up to some nefarious, no good yet legal loophole that you are sure that Roxanne is at as Canadian heroes, your international uh, status some what ties your hands so you are limited to the amount of superheroing that you are able to do as you ponder what your next move would be there was a giant buffeted hurricane like wind attack sending aurora spinning north star somewhat dazed uh there was a bright flaming shield in the sky there's rogue waves crashing against the ship and finally giant coral coming out like hands grabbing the side of the ship and crushing it at that time you're able to make up standing in the sky with the silhouette behind them the heroes of forces of nature heroes you say aren't they villains not in their minds Eco-terrorism, perhaps. Eco-terrorists, for sure. But behind those masks, before there was thunderbolts, there was forces of nature. Hmm. Our heroes are congregated outside in a very splash-pagey kind of look. The villains are um, about 100 feet or so um, above you, uh, above the island, uh, Waikiki's beach right there. Tourists are all uh, aghast and running around. There's a couple of people that are uh, out on their catamarans and some people doing the uh, boat hang glide tour things so you parasailing. Have to, parasailing parasailing thank you thank you there are some uh gawking bystanders that the heroes may need to be concerned with there are the workers on board the ship there are the roxon workers on board the oil rig our heroes are beckoned to do heroism the notorious question that every game must start with what do you do I think since we all have flight, we should get the forces of nature as far away from the largest civilian po uh, population as possible. But we also know that there's an energy signature, possibly a weapon on the ship. So if we can go to the ship and take care of that energy weapon, we might possibly draw most, if not all of the forces of nature away from the civilian population may be endangering the rocks on guys but hey you know well maybe you, knew, maybe, you know maybe, who you signed up to work for you knew okay. it yeah but, but maybe, we don't know we don't know that forces of nature came to start shit, do we true that's what i'm saying we could have uh, they, started, they started attacking the ship yeah they yeah, started but, attacking the ship yeah. oh okay well, but i mean that doesn't mean that they're gonna affect that they're gonna attack people on the so ship. are you saying that that, the the ship. Wind, that came from them then right yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 They're, 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 they're eco terrorists, and it's a drill. So, um, I, I think that has sending box to try to to turn into a big like Noah's Ark type thing to get everyone off the shore Ooh. would be a good move, and then we'll figure out our plan of attack from there. We got to save them first, just in case. Even though I don't think they're there to to attack. So get anybody, the, you're talking about yeah. get the Roxon employees to abandon ship. No, no, no. People on the beach. I Something. I suggest Box use his uh, ability to transmute metal, make a giant microphone, and tell those motherfuckers to get off the beach and find safety. <laughs> and then let's go ahead to the ship and battle these fools. 
that works just as well. Okay, outstanding. Validator is confidently issuing orders. This very well played Heather Hudson. She's she's confident. She's uh, she's growing into her leadership role. She wasn't sure when she first started. Box, what are you doing? It's a giant megaphone, and uh, warn warn the uh, the bystanders on the beach to vacate. And uh, after I'm done with that, I take Vindicator's suggestion and take the fight to forces of nature and uh, attack the nearest one to us. Or yeah, attack the nearest one to us, and uh, that way, if you're aggressive, you can you can kind of you know. Knock them off balance. Got to knock them off knock balance. Balance and, and and you know force them to engage you and and they're gonna come after you away from the from the beach and the ship. So box, give me a roll as you turn into a megaphone off of your unearthly transmutation. Seventy five. Oh, boom. Yes. Thirty five is roll. into the green. Uh, you're able to make a beautifully burns drawn. Uh, megaphone. What do you shout to the people on the uh, beach? GTFO. Yeah, attention. You know, beachgoers. Uh, you know, there is a, there is a, possibly a, there's a poss possibly a, a weapon. Say terrorist attack. A, a possible terrorist attack, or, or, or well, we don't want. Yeah, possible terrorist attack. Uh, Taken underway. Uh, please vacate the beach. Go home. Stay home. Stay safe. <laughs> and give a uh, box an extra ten karma points and an extra five karma points for everybody else for working as a team. Um, people start running off of the shore. The paragliders and kite boarders uh, start to do their best to get off of the. Uh, Shoreline, there are still a couple of rogue waves that are crashing up against the ship. Uh, and it looks like some of their rebound power might make it to the shore, but you have some time. Northstar, what are you doing? Well, is um, Aurora still disoriented? Uh, give me, great question, give me an endurance roll. Wait, was I disoriented or was that Validator? Vindicator. No, that was you. What did you I do? got knocked away forced by the wind. I oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Thank you. You using the same app, Ty? Because that shit was fucking you last game. Uh, no one explained to me the rules here, son. I'm coming no, here that, raw, that's not, No, I'm saying that's not on you. That's on the app you were using. Oh. I, I used one previously before the one I use now, and it was just getting me like threes, eights, and I'm like, out of 100, goddamn. And they, they gave me another one, so I tried that one. It works out a little more. Yeah, that's just uh, gambling, sucker. That's the way the dice rolls, you know? <laughs> No uh, North Star, that, North Star does not quite make uh, the role. His endurance is there. He's you, your sister is right in reach, but you have to use all of your focus to uh, maintain your own flight path and not uh, fall out of the sky. Aurora, give me an endurance check off of your twenty. Also, excellent. Thirty. That is also uh, thirty for an excellent is in the white and it is a fail. Uh, Aurora, you are still disoriented. Uh, give uh, yeah, Jean, Jean Marie is uh, is trying to get out. She's uh, okay. I'm ready. She's that. freaked out about uh, dying. Vindicator. Okay, so who's 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 heading towards the water right now? Who just got shot out of the sky? Me. Um, I fly to save uh, Aurora. Awesome. Give uh, give me a give me an agility check uh, with an incredible. My agility is incredible, so I'm at. Oh, okay, there we go. I am rolling 50, 57, 
57 is the highest box in green. Uh, yeah, you make I a know. beautiful dive. Describe it. Describe the panel. What does it look like as you dive in? As I see Aurora knocked unconscious and start tumbling towards the water, I spring into action, boosting my suit to its maximum power, almost doing a gravitational teleportation maneuver and swooping up Aurora at the last moment before crashing into the water from hundreds of feet in the air. Certain death. Yeah, so it's definitely got where like, uh, when you're flying real close to the water and it just like starts to- uh, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. that little part. sonic boom Red cloud. Seat. Boom. I like yeah. it. Max speed uh, X. That is gonna be a uh, plus 10 karma points for saving a teammate. Look at you, bud. Look at you, Ed. Thank you. Um, the Cambodian firewall is lit up as a giant <clears throat> fire shield, um, much like a Johnny Blaze flame on. She starts hurling uh, fireballs, which look like snowballs, uh, down at the Roxon ship. Um, she's just kind of blindly, ah, it's actually not bad. she's kind of just blindly shooting. It doesn't seem as if she's necessarily aiming for anyone as much as it seems that she's trying to, uh, cause general chaos, uh, on board. Uh, you see the rock sound workers running around. They look like ants from where you are. Next skybreaker with his long ponytail and haughty attitude. Um, who would Skybreaker want to fuck with? Skybreaker goes up to North Star. Oh. Oh, you seem, you seem that you are the master of flight and speed. You will be calling me master by the time this is over. And he hits you with a localized tornado uh, generating from his hands. It just shh. That's some tactical shit. shit to say, by the way. Uh, at a 16. <laughs> um, you are able to get out of the way. Uh, where do you go, North Star? Well, I want to mount a counterattack. I like it. Um, so let's go with like a, like a, a speed punch attack. A la the flash. Speed. I like it. Uh, this is speed crunch. Speed punch. Speed punch. Give me a fighting attack. Shoot, dude. Oh, come on. Oh. A seven? <laughs> <laughs> Just to roll the dice, bro. It's a roll of the dice. Roll of the dice. Roll of the dice. You're right. The lights out. The lights are out in Vegas. It is one of racist dice. It is one of those. Uh, you know, it's perfect. That's exactly how the first panel of the fight works in the comic, where the guy gets a, a, a sucker punch in, and the hero is like, "Oh my god, I don't know how to fight." But yeah, you take a swing, and it is a big miss. He quickly just moves out of the way with his mastery of air. Next, the one known as Aqueduct starts riding a giant wave as if it was a surfboard without a surfboard as he goes down. Um, he then causes a giant spout of water to spiral and shoot up at Box in his megaphone, megaphone form. Box is waterproof or no? A uh, box can make himself waterproof, but he's not by nature. Not, not he's not he is not naughty by nature. I was <laughs> I so hoped you were gonna take that. I didn't hear it until after I said it. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as it left your mouth, you're like Rob, has got to say something. Tretch. Um, he only rolls a twenty nine. Um, so yeah, the uh, spout like comes up, but box, you're able to just resist it. It just splashes off of you uh, relatively harmless. The weakest money shot ever, basically. 
And finally, uh, Terraformer uh, rides down. Uh, he's the only one to actually go to the ship and he gets on top of the coral uh, that is gripping the side of the ship like a hand. And then you see each finger on the hand break off and turn into a humanoid coral person that oh. looks like the lava man. Oh, damn. What do you do? Three, two, one, I'm going to smoke a bowl. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I think, is there some way that we could take out all four with one of our powers? I think if you and me, like, posse up, we can hit him with that light blast. And then you guys should team up. Can we eliminate Ben? Aurora and North Star right. need to team up big time. No, one, if I ever fucking wake up. Um, but once we do, yeah, we could do the, we can gingerly touch tips. The light blast. Other twin powers. <laughs> Activate. Oh, uh, here's the torch. Love you. Uh, All right. So I, here's, I think, here's what I'm think. thinking. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. Like, the water one is, is probably the most potent one along with the wind one right now because those elements are readily available, right? Aries, speak. On the ship, like the, the oil rig, it is all metal. And I can, I can do, I can transmute metal into whatever I want. That's right. right humanoid coral that he creates, I can create a metal humanoid that'll deal with those. So I feel like Box is okay for dealing with whoever's on the ship because it's all metal. That's like, that's, that's probably where I'm most effective right now, right? Like, and then we'll go, then that the three of us will, because right, I'm holding, oh, oh, gotcha. I'm holding you, Aurora, in my arms right now. Thank you. So strong and soft at the same time, I bet. So I think you and Norse, we, us three, why Box handles the ship, we should go deal with the next biggest threat, which I think is probably fire person. No, on the water? Maybe the water, it's, it's aqueduct. Okay, well, let's go aqueduct. I agree. I'll, I'll go there. Let's go aqueduct. We okay, let's, let's do that. Let's, that's okay. the plan. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, the team quickly devises a plan over their comms that I'm sure Box is designed. You know, side, side nerding. I think it would be interesting to see if how Box and how Forge would work together. Oh, is Box wow. Omega level? Would you say yeah. Box was Omega yeah. level? If, he's, if, if, if his power is mutant? I would I say in modern times. Box I would say, into his leg. But I would say that it's also an issue of modern times. Like, if Box had that mutation 100, 200 years ago, I mean, not to say that metal wasn't prevalent, but I'm saying that there's just a lot, like this battleship, this uh, giant cargo ship, for example. Like, you know, a giant... Metal alloys. Alloys. It would have been a galley, and, like, maybe he would have been able to control the cannons and the, and the anchor and the chain. <laughs> and that's it. Ooh, if you ever wanted to tie Star, Star Trek to Marvel, you could say Forge and Box became the beginning of the Borg somehow. If you told, <laughs> if you, if you told the story right. You just told it. You just told it right. That was oh. it. That was, that was the story. You can't tell it more concise than that one. <laughs> I mean, it would be a great story to read. I love it. Somebody do it. Kind of easy. Yeah, it's, it's like saying the it's low hanging like fruit. the phalanx, like the phalanx becoming the board, you know what I mean? Somehow. We're already like, we're already we're like, oh yeah. 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 This whole plan hinges on your blinding light, guys. This is a big move because it'll blind him for three, four turns, I think. Or permanently, hopefully. <laughs> there's there's the look of there's the little bit coming through right there. Uh, no, okay, guys, you have to keep in mind my energy's low, so I'm gonna turn into that fucking crazy bitch pretty soon. We know that's why I'm trying to move the game along, and I mean <laughs> that. <as a> metaphor. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's, she's always close by. <laughs> <laughs> she just floats around here like a halo. Just, just a touch away, just you know. Hey, man, you gotta turn into the Hulk somehow, <laughs> or maybe not. North Star, Aurora. Power Gestalt. Jen, what does that mean? She just watched Combiners the other day. And I told her that's not something that you ever use in normal conversation. And you literally use it the next day 
So, <laughs> this is a normal conversation, but amazing. That's right. I'm relatively normal for me, but there are no, con yeah, no coincidences in the universe. Exactly. Connectivity, all that shit. Love it. Do you ignore that? You ignore that you ignore Star. Oh, um, then Ty. You do it. No, no, you can't be unlucky two times in a row. Damn. I said that's that so that's many times a, that's in my life. Yeah, that's right, right, right there. there. It's, and it's always on right. I, I may have heard that once or twice. <laughs> but but, uh, but I feel odds. like being in Vegas is like a roll the dice, Vegas. Ty. Roll 65. the dice. I got fifty-five. 65. Come on, man. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Boom! I would have got a two. Thank God. Like one, one. One. Uh, that is deep into the yellow. You, you hit the blinding light. Uh, you know, a very Jack Kirby silhouette. Uh, it's all white. A couple of speed lines coming off of the two, and ah, you know, like they're they're standing there like the Vitruvian man and woman, hand in hand. Um, everyone's got full visual. visual. It's it is, right? Like you can totally see that, man. Yeah, I'm like, man, I'm sitting here like, yeah. Yeah, I was flying on like a fucking two-year-old right now. It just saw <laughs> his first take. Uh, Skybreaker takes an endurance test against his inhuman Attilan uh, endurance. And he gets an 85. Fuck. I hate inhumans. Right? Well, because right off the bat, they think they're better than us. Uh, point, he... It's like fuck humans is what they should be called. Fuck humans. <laughs> he is blinded, even though he made a good save. He will get his sight back in two rounds. Not that your character necessarily knows that, but he's blinded for two rounds. Hey guys, so that that's awesome. Like their most powerful character is already blinded for two rounds. How you long are the other? You're talking, you're, talking about the, you're talking about the wind guy, right? Yeah. No, the most powerful is the water guy. How, how are you not seeing this? We are well, in the water. Like, all the water and you're like, oh, so maybe we should take out the fire chick. Like, no. The so is the air guy. Guy. I mean, the air guy. The air, air is. No, no, no. I see that too. But for some reason, you do not respect the water guy. And I feel like that's going to bite us in the ass later. If you don't Dude, he just that. hit me with a giant spigot and it was barely a money shot. Come on. Nobody's <laughs> <laughs> worried right about him. <laughs> you know, first of all, to roll the die. You know, in your face. In his fucking name. The closest, coolest person is in the Marvel Universe that has that name is Howard Duck. I got, I got a meme for you. Just ask Ty. It's the roll of the die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 100%. Okay. No comment? <laughs> Give me one second. I have to. No, that's a t shirt. I'm trying to make t shirts off. Uh, everything. <laughs> what was, I don't know what the one it was last time. Oh, pucks don't give a fuck. That's what it was last time. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh at that, Ty. You fucking, like a grammar Nazi. <laughs> fucking super grad Nazi. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. You didn't have to. <laughs> I didn't Ty, say when I look at you and you don't say anything, or I'm saying when you look at me and I don't say shit, it's probably worse than anything we could ever say sometimes. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how that's true. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, Ty. Want this pillow? Why? Oh. <laughs> you actually remember that. I, th I was hoping I was for like a drunken... That and point three miles. I hope we just got like <laughs> log somewhere. I forgot that part. And what are you talking about? Like walking, <laughs> walking the streets of downtown Seattle, <laughs> looking for looking for, looking for fish sticks. We're looking for fish sticks. I'm back. <laughs> we were actually looking for fish and chips, man. We were looking for fish sticks. <laughs> Bro, that. that. No. Hey, man. Those fish. Those fucking man. That fish and chips is fucked up. Firewall is near enough. 38. Firewall is blinded. Permanently? For, for 10 rounds. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm fuck them up. Fuck Basically. Those, fuck those Cambodians. Um, <laughs> Wait, do a Millie Rock? What is that? <laughs> Box. What are you doing? How's the uh what are you guys doing? What's your order? So I'm on the I'm on the 
the ship or the oil rig or whatever, wherever um, uh, the, the earth dude landed to create those coral humanoids. I'm there and I'm creating metal humanoids to combat coral ones. And, uh, and he's blinded. What, not could blocked. Blinded. Couldn't you just turn into like so, two big metal? So he's blinded. So he's not blind. To what's going on. Terraformer okay. isn't blinded. Oh, he's not blinded. Skybreaker and Firewall are both blinded. Okay. Terraformer oh. and Aqueduct were far enough away where they did not uh, get blinded. They made their saves. Well, go, go handle your business, Box. Box, I like the creativity of your situation with going blow for blow. Give me a roll using your unearthly control over all metals. On record, you should have just made a big ass hand and pimp slap. Big ass, like, like take all the metal off the ship, pimp hand. I'm not, I'm not done, man. You don't go for the easiest solution, <laughs> the exciting one. Give me the baby powder. I could turn into a giant box around the ship. Baby powder. I'm gonna slash the body. Eighty-one. Oh, boom! Hey, Ty. When's the last time you coded uh, Friday after next? I just did it right now, but I've never done it before. <laughs> yeah, that's not very. I'm. A... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's the actors quotable. in Friday after next book. Friday after next. Hey, man. Is that the one, Pinky? Pinky. Hell no, that's that's next Friday. Don't fucking disrespect Pinky like that. <laughs> uh, boxes box lands on the ship and at the whim of his command is able to rip up parts of the ship's metal and form them into humanoid creatures that start battling with the coral men that were made of the terraformers fingers. Uh, very well done. They get into a fight for fight. Give me a swing box uh, for a general fight of your dudes. So I know none of you guys are Clipper fans, but like when Quentin Richardson used to hit them threes, he would do this. Got three big ass foreheads on this top. Anytime we do a good move, it sounds, it sounds like little rascals. I mean, like three stooges. I'm sorry, Rob. What was that again? You got to roll oh, the dice, dice right? box. Make a fighting attack. I use the elongating ability to like throw a punch at Terraformer. And, uh, if I'm gonna, do I roll now? Yeah. Got an 82. Ooh. Woo! Nice roll. 82 off of an incredible 40 is. <laughs> Why I know that? You do a uh, solid gut punch, a uh, metal piece of, uh, you know, it's one of those uh, long John Byrne frames at the very bottom. It's just the uh, arm and him go, ooh! Uh, he takes a uh, punch on strength 40. You beat the shit out of him. Uh, you. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, using basically your monster strength transferred over into the ship's strength. Uh, yeah, describe describe your takedown of him. So as as he once he's knocked down, I go ahead and um, like when he as he's on the ground, I go ahead and fold metal over him to kind of keep him trapped and 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 encapsulated. Cause I want to answer, damn it. And this is our guy. Like a bad guy grilled cheese sandwich. There you go. Just nice little chimichanga of terraformer. Oh. terraformer <laughs> That's dope. 55. 55 is into the green. Uh, yeah, you connect. Um, oh, yeah, it's a double shift over. Still into the green. Um, uh, our, our, our move got to be this. We got to show the dome. Alpha. No, but you need to do an alpha, for, like an A for alpha. Right. alpha. Did your, do you have your uh, speed on you right now? I did not have your character sheet in front of me for some reason. For the record, uh, Jen thought that I was the one instigating and antagonizing and making things weird. It's totally a group effort. That's why. Well, no, that's how it started. But yeah, now we're all in. 
<laughs> yeah, no. yeah, it's all, it's always you, Ed. Uh, North, North Star lands a knockout blow uh, with a super quick describe the scene. North Star, describe the scene. Um, I pummel the shit out of him and uh, leave him in, in shambles on the beach. But you drop him on the beach. Very nice. Very yeah. heroic. Very yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's five karma points right there. That's five that karma points. That is some more karma points. Not I would have killed his ass. Uh, we're going to need some information. Because oh, we want to know why were point. they coming after the ship. Yeah. Good point. Good so we got to leave them like alive or whatever. Good you point. Know? Yep. North Star is KO. Or what do they know? I'm the what validator, not the Katie Punisher. On Aqueduct. Uh, you are able to overwhelm him with your force blast. Uh, describe it. Okay, so uh, dazed from the... Uh, blinding light, North Star Aurora fist bump. Coming in on the backside, super energy bolt going right down between the fucking eyes. But doink. Uh, terraformer, uh, terraformer. Aqueduct falls off of his uh, surfboard, knocked out by the blast from Vindicator. You see him. Uh, he, he controls water, but he does not breathe water. You see him start to sink beneath the waves. Aurora, what do you do? Um, he, he just pitched you a softball, dude. Right? Right. Yeah. 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 That was pretty easy right there. How's it going? Um, hey, let me put this out. Let me throw this out there. Ed, Have you seen Tiger King? Sometimes hey, you Ed, it. someone's got Ed, you're turning into that guy. Ed, you're turning into that guy again. That guy you hated editing out of the last time we did this. How you were turning you. into that guy. How dare you cup check me? Right Pull now. it back. How dare you, Mitch, cup check me right now? <laughs> you're right. Okay, so I'm going to save that person. Thank you. Aurora, Aurora begrudgingly goes through a couple of panels of self-doubt and inner <laughs> conflict before deciding that all life is worthy. <laughs> Give me an agility roll, Aurora, for picking this dude up out the water. Ooh. Do I even deserve that at this point? <laughs> At least get him out the water so we can get some info, man. Let's let's get going. You don't have to yell at me when I roll a ninety-eight. Whoa. Okay. All right. Sorry. Got a little loud. All right. Lucy. <laughs> no one even slapped their head. That was a good one. That is. I'm I, I'm, I gotta wait on a delivery. Do you believe that? Oh, I had, no, to, I, don't. I had to place the order yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yeah, you told me about that. That's crazy, man. It's funny I would that really people be, say stupid shit and make people laugh for some reason. I that. would really be interested in, in seeing if uh, Dwight's actually seen Roast Me because he understands. Uh, Dwight and I understand. The the back I know of the about your fucking palms bus. But Montreal, yeah, the back of the like bus, It was notorious. It was, it was, yeah. I yeah. I, I'm just not for the week because I wasn't part of it. Not for the week. <laughs> I wonder. I, I, I have. There's a few things in my life I wonder about, Ty. One is, what if I was born a woman? The other is, what if I could have taken that Palms bus to Palms from the other side of Palms? What would it have been like? Oh, the me and Dwight bus? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm being dead ass, bro. Like when you said that right now. Yeah, you might not have been able to hang. You were kind of quiet back then. You might not have been able to hang. I was very. I'd have fucked you up in the back of that bus. I was, I was a shredder. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I was wearing hammer pants like a motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I'm obviously having some, some semblance of like, this is me and this is my uh, Daniel Russo shower. <laughs> and if you try to come in it, I'm gonna fuck you up. Sweep the leg, bro. Hey. That's that's for weak. I'm not above it. Three, two, one. Aurora, being the amazing person that she is, swoops down. 
gets his little dude out the water. And then um, almost like a Constructicon dropping dirt, drops the dude off on the shore because she is the um, split personality. And she's mad and she doesn't like males, period. Point blank. I, I like it. Um, as should be done, you take out these B-list heroes, one, two, three, four, after they have made this eco-terrorist attack. Congrats what about Fire Dude? Congratulations. Oh, Firewall is still uh, up there blinded. Okay. All right. Who wants to take care of that? I did forget about Firewall. I can do it. Well, I'll take him out because I'll just rob all the oxygen from his fire. What is he going to do? Oh, you're going to flash and do like a 360? Yeah. Damn. But then yeah. she's going to drown. She's already Cambodian. You want to make life harder on her? No, Listen, that was, that, no she's a good looking woman. That's a very Jean-Paul North Star, like swoop around and then catch her. That's like, her? Yeah, totally. Well, Marie. Um, Aurora, oh. uh, North Star, that is dope. Give me a true flight speed uh give me yeah give me a true flight speed ty can i say for a gay dude you really know how to sweep a woman off her feet 72. <laughs> 72. Hey, bitch, i'm charming no matter the gender you you, ah. you don't know about me you, you don't know about me. like a tiger king <laughs> i did a very high charisma score i invented <laughs> meth and tigers bro <laughs> Round. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to say, so that handles all of them, right? That's that's all the guys. Paris is burning. Yeah, I watched like half of it. No, I was <laughs> probably a quarter, to be honest. Not even. <laughs> but man, fuck. Fifty-three. I, you know, I, I give you credit for being that woke to be able to watch. Oh no, I'm gonna watch the whole thing. I just, it wasn't. There's like, yeah, it, it is actually fascinating, and I give Pose a lot of credit for their Schroeder. Uh, Tell him like, they, it's they, fascinating. Like, they get it's, I, I, on point. I'm, I'm, I was ready for it. I just don't have Netflix in my room, so I couldn't like go to sleep watching it so i had to find yeah but i definitely have to say that yeah getting the yeah, getting the nice. actual like that grainy footage from the 80s yes. and just yes you know like yeah. just those kids and and you're just like fuck like right just, it, just it, a different world it's hey like even for me like I, there's the inside of it to me for like when i think about like some decisions that i'm glad that i didn't have to make yep well how old were because you because i had i had really time I had really good friends. Do you know what I mean? So like, yeah, this, nah, this, this, happens, this you know came out I mean? when we were in high school, right? And to see, yeah. So when was the first time you saw it? That's what I'm curious. Like, where was your first connection? Oh, I didn't get to see it. I didn't get to see it. I was with uh, Brian for a few years until before he ever showed it. What? What are you guys talking about? What? What documentary? We'll oh, save Paris, it for another episode. Paris is burning. Paris is burning. It's it's about the underground. Uh, like drag, drag scene in New York that operated very much like almost hip hop dance crews or, or, you know, like, like imagine if there was a drag queen gang in the Warriors, like that, like, but it is Netflix. Yeah. 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 But it's no, it's, it's kind of, all uh, Lucy, did you ever watch that Hulu thing I sent you on about Venice and the skate skaters, the roller skaters? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it's a lot like yeah. that. It's like it a is, yeah. subculture yeah. within what's already a subculture. So like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just interesting to watch. And like because, I said, like, I'm still because not only it, is it yeah. drag culture, it's it's minority drag culture. So yes, it, it deals with the race. Race. Strata within the within preach brother strata. Culture. <laughs> no, that, that's that's why I was curious because like if Ty had seen this somewhere before two thousand, I would have been like, bro, like. But now the fact no, that you've no. seen it as recently, pretty much as I have, like it's still new in your. You're already kind of an adult, and you already have your thing. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah, yeah. Seen it during that time, you know, in like ninety four, ninety eight. Yeah, well, oh yeah. It probably yeah. would have been a different oh, thing. You hey, know? three, two, one, three, two, one. We're not editing. Where are we at? Where are we at right now? Because I think we just blasted just about everybody. 
Yeah, uh, to yeah. save them at the same time. Conscious but uh, subdued members of the eco terrorist squad. And uh, I guess now we question them. Yeah. Forces like, of what nature do they know about the drill? You being our fearless leader should lead the questioning. I should lead the question. What do you mean, lead the, the question? Questioning. Ask them what's up with the drill. Guys. Oh, 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 okay. So, validator, where do you go? Oh, uh, I go down on the beach and I develop. Uh, who's who, what's the bad guy down on the beach? The air one. Okay, in it within my force field suit. I don't want to be that mean, but I like what's what's on the ship. An interrogation. Give me an interrogation roll. I'm going to do an interrogation roll. I like it. That's three. It's changing into six. Uh, we'll use your reason, but you have your leadership as a skill, and I think that we can have that translate over. Um, it's, it's a 24. 24. So your reason goes from 10 to 20 and uh, 24. Um, He's very haughty. He's a, he's an inhuman. He's like, I, I don't need to speak to the lesser likes of you. You may hey. have defeated me this time, but there's no way that you do ever defeat Skybreaker twice. Let me get, can I give it a try? I have better yeah, charisma. Please do. Please do. I have better charisma and I'm the one who saved him. So like maybe, you know, I can, you know, some sympathy bets, some sympathy. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100%, you're right. Like it. All right, North Star, give me a roll. Oh, damn. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> but it's perfect for him as an inhuman. He, he's just like, he's not phased at all. He's like, ah. All right, so Who's the next that, one? I'm interrogating Terraformer on the ship. There you go. Not so hotty. And uh, I'm asking him, you know, what's on the ship? Why are they here? What's what what's what's the plan? What's going on? Don't give me a reason check. Eighty nine. Oh, nice. Yes, 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 yes. Twenty on the eighty nine is deep into the yellow. Uh, you're gonna you'll find that you're on the wrong side of history, helping out these. These evil corporations just trying to plunder the beauty of nature. We will win. We will win. Do you think oh. the forces of oh, nature will no. attack the Tiger King? This ship, as far as we know, God damn it, Cap. <laughs> Once again, Tiger King. Oh. Tiger King. Oh. The face. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that face. So I guess at this point, <laughs> the handsome cat. I'm not gonna lie, like I mean, everyone's well, there's, there's, animals there's are. Cat. I mean, there's no watermelon cat or cantaloupe cat, but hey. you know, it'd be me. You don't. You gotta look like your pet on some level. I gotta have a slender, high cheekbone cat. You know, that's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. How it goes down. Um, <laughs> God damn you, Glenn. Terraformer. He's bro, Dub C. I remember him. Yeah. Terraformer spills the beans. He says, Roxon has been, uh, Roxon has manipulated uh, the local state senate and uh, some corrupt uh, real estate people and are going to set up this laser drill offshore and try to get some of the geothermal energy that they have located. The people on the island are against it. So I guess at this point, I communicate to Vindicator that so I Terraformer. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say exactly the same thing. What we need to do, because we are not in Canadian territory right now, that we have discovered their plans, transmit this information to the Avengers. The West Coast Avengers. <laughs> Certainly, the West Coast of Wait, wait, you said that you said we're in Hawaii. Terraformer says not a real that, that Roxon got, got has senators in their pocket. Yeah. Oh, certainly, certainly, certainly. I think Tigra and um, Hank Pam without a superhero identity could handle this by themselves. 
Because that's West <laughs> Avengers, right? No, no. Hey, these elemental people were tough, dude. Don't get it twisted, man. That was a tough battle. But you we are not on Avengers Canadian soil. Fight. We you are an American the, soil. The we need to get the Avengers involved. Duck and the policemen. No. Uh, Sir, Hawaii we, Five-O. We, are, we are Alpha Flight here on a diplomatic mission from the Canadian government to open up our embassy. And we have just uncovered a horrible plot and saved you beautiful people. Uh, like, give me a touch with Tony Stark right now. I need to talk to Tony Stark. Intuition with your uh, leadership. Oh, shit. So, Validator, at your wedding, did you ask people, would you like the moose or the venison? Is that true? 27. A uh, strong 27. Uh, the police say, well, you know, we have to wait for our meta-human uh, uh, department to arrive. If you could just wait here. But you said, wait, uh, you're on a diplomatic mission. <laughs> um, suddenly, Adrian pulls up in his limousine and I need to find that guy's name. Are you guys aware that there's black squirrels in the world? I think I've seen one. Yeah, they're out here on the like the east part, close to Louisiana. Ty, no, yeah. okay. we we'll ever talk about that. They eat them out there. They're they not in uh, Louisiana. God. Yeah, they don't, they don't go in the trees. They're uh, more like underground. So when the guy told me, I thought he was talking oh, about okay. gopher, but now they're definitely black squirrels. So the, anyways, this comment is black squirrel. The, <laughs> the embassy's limbo pulls up uh, onto limo. Okay. the beach, and uh, Adrian, the limo driver. Uh, goes around and opens up the door and you see Ambassador Peter Van Zant emerge with uh, his Canadian diplomatic uh, attache attached to him and comes up and says, Officer, Officer, this is quite all right. Uh, as you can see here, I have all the paperwork here. These are uh, diplomatic agents working under the auspices of Canada's Lend-Lease program to better tourism. <laughs> <laughs> what year is this set in? But older. Huh? What year is this set in? Uh, set yeah. in 84, 85. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Tony so, Montana. Okay, so this guy <laughs> me, or he's, he's approaching me. So he descends down. He says, oh, well, uh, I thank you very much. Roxxon Corporation thanks you very much. Um, due to... Uh, Due to the beneficial manner in which this uh, altercation has turned out, we find we'll find it in our hearts to not charge you for any of the damages due, but we will uh, take this uh, person into uh, our custody, and we'll be sure to give them Standing. over to the proper Standing. authorities. Standing. High, fives, son. Son. High, fives, son. High fives, High fives. All around. High fives. Nah, I don't, I don't know. Nah, nah, you ain't going out like that. Do. Don't I let them have the dude. Talk I, 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 I go ahead and just, you know, say, like, deny that, telling him that I'm headed to shore anyways, and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure <laughs> that, uh, that the uh, culprit ends up in the proper, um, you know, hands with authority. Um, you see him, like, kind of, like, get down on his ear and, like, turn around and look at you and turn around. And so while he's doing that, I I remotely hack into that earpiece to hear the conversation. Oh, very good, very good. Yo, dude, if I was the government, I'd be a shady motherfucker, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, no problem. That's true. True. <laughs> and you think that's not the norm because? Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but he's not doing it, and that's the oh, difference. Oh, not you, me if, doing it. But. I, if anything, you'd be more efficient at it, which is scary. Give me a computer link role at Remarkable. Eighty-five. Forty. That's pretty good. You're already remarkable. Forty is the first box into green. Oh, uh, you goodness. are able to uh, start to pick up, and he's like, uh, 
Yeah, we've got these uh, superhero do-gooders down here. And no, I don't think that they're a part of the eco-terrorist. No, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can get rid of them. I, I'm sorry, sir. And you hear on the other side, just... Um, Uh, imagine an angry Murphy Brown. And she's just, just this, just this angry corporate strong woman who's just like, well, these idiots aren't going to mess with our plans. Everything needs to be put in place. That drill, that ship needs to get moving, and we need to be able to set up this drill. Now you get that goddamn hero off our ship, and you get to doing what you do or you'll be the next person going over the edge of this boat. And he just like nervously turns around, not knowing that you have hacked in and just looks very confident and just kind of fixes his tie and says, well, well, I've spoken to my superiors and we find that yes, it might be most prudent and efficient if you take this rabble rouser away and uh, we can just deal with our issues here and move on. I'm, Sorry if there was uh, any form of miscommunication. If you'll please just take my card here. Marvin Jansen hands it over to you. And uh, if there's anything that you ever need from Roxanne, you be sure to contact me and I'll contact you. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Fox. I'm an alpha flight, homie. <laughs> I like that. I love that. I, I might do that the rest of my life. Thank you. <laughs> I think next time we, we whenever we log on, we, that's how we greet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so he lets you fly off. Uh, how would you like to get Terraformer to the beach? Um, yeah, I just, you know, Cut around them, still in the chimichanga metal wrap. I pick them up and I fly off. But before I fly off, I make sure that I have a remote connection to the oil rigs computers and the ship's computers uh, for monitoring. All right, you're going to set up a little bug in there. I like that. Uh, give me another computer link roll. Ah, 16. Um, you're able to set up a bug, but it's only, uh, it's got a very, very short distance uh, that you can receive any of these messages. You make it back to shore, the police round up the force heroes, uh, take them into custody. The uh, metahuman detachment force uh, comes and rounds up the heroes. Uh, the villains, I mean, Eco-Hero, and you're taking it back to the hotel to have to have a restful night and uh, do the downtime and dialogue that always happens between heroes that have, you know, big bubbles that fill up the whole thing where you learn something about the character that you never knew before. There we go. That's great. Uh, the night passes away uneventfully. Uh, you attend a uh, beautiful beachside uh, catered dinner uh, sponsored by the American Embassy members. A Mr. Porter, you note, is the most important and significant person who seems to be at this uh, dinner. Next day. Next day you wake up and you are uh, welcome to a buffet. All you can eat seafood buffet. <laughs> As you finish like, up huh? your buffet, uh, I heard they have good salmon. I heard they got scrimp. Scrimps. Got some scrimps. Uh, uh, Adrian goes over the daily uh, agenda and shows the itinerary. 
um, very, uh, a lot of photo ops, a lot of you wearing your costumes and going in front of, um, you know, the, the Surf King uh, statue or going up to Diamond Head or doing all of these very touristy things that are great photo opportunities. Um, but are rather boring and begin to get tedious towards the uh, middle of the day. At three o'clock, you are set up for uh, your rehearsal. Again, a very mundane event, uh, a lot of over the top um, Hawaiian cliche things uh, done, which Ambassador Van Zant says that he doesn't like doing it, but. <laughs> She knows that the Americans love having these uh, gaudy uh, events. He says that there's going to be a great show of people tomorrow, that tomorrow night that'll turn out. Um, besides some of our local stars like Scott Kahn shooting Hawaii Five-0. <laughs> How dare you bring him into this? That's amazing. <laughs> As you exit and um, get done with your itinerary for the day, Adrian says that there's going to be a beautiful luau in the hotel's courtyard that will, you know, overlook a beautiful display from the Hotel Sheraton Black Rock. Uh, if you want to give me another discount to stay there, please feel free to do so. I'll mention you in every. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a nightly sunset event where someone recreates the king of the island diving into the ocean as a sign of rebirth. As you attend this event in the background, you can see the silhouette of the giant oil rig take place, uh, getting firmly set. Uh, where it is, as you do, pulling up to the beach from the oil rig in a very Jack Kirby-esque villainy type uh, speedboat is the man from Roxxon, a couple of fancy attaches, and you notice a, a large fin like behind the ship. Uh, they pull up on shore and the, uh, the, the hotel workers uh, start, you know, they pull the ship up and, you know, they're doing their best to, to get them off and they're looking all smooth and you continue to see this fin right off of shore in the water. All of a sudden, then you see a full frame emerging from the water. Rocks on security. Tiger shark. Ah. End scene. 